it's going to start to feel like it pretty yeah. soon here. I, it's crazy to me. Like you, you get so wrapped up in the cold and the yeah. snow, and all of a sudden spring's on the horizon, and it just doesn't like doesn't seem real, you know? No. Uh, but no, it's very real, and it's on the way. And baseball's on the way. I can't wait for that. Sitting in some uh, cheap seats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eating a pretzel or something. But believe it or not, more snow on the way as we head into the day on Sunday. Plan on more snow showers working in. Look at the temperatures, though. Near freezing on Saturday. We're above freezing on Sunday. That warmer air is going to feel so nice. Today, though, air quality has been lower right now. We are in the moderate category. We haven't really had a lot to stir up the atmosphere and mix that those pollutants out. So across the entire state and much of the Midwest even, uh, we're continuing to see that. So if you are unusually sensitive um, to pollutants, well, avoid spending a lot of time outside and avoid really overdoing it because uh, that could exacerbate things for you. Right now, though, looks pretty nice out. We've got some clouds roaming around out there. Otherwise, a uh, pretty nice start to our day. We're at 22. We've seen a few snow showers out there. Otherwise, winds are relatively light, 8 miles per hour. You can see that snow through central portions of the state. Not far away, though. Sunshine, Perry through Redfield, upward uh, towards uh, Carroll, and even up into Sioux Falls area. Continuing to see sunny skies. Areas off to the southeast still under that cloud deck. So your 12-hour forecast here, again, still plan on those snow showers for a little bit longer before we start to move those out and work in. A little bit of sunshine will likely hang on to some clouds this afternoon and evening temperatures backing down into the uh, low sink, low double digits. But as the clouds continue to work their way out again, we'll see a little bit more sunshine uh, before that sun sets tonight. And then eyes turn towards the weekend. We'll build in some clouds into Saturday evening. You can see snow right now, two in the morning. Pretty light stuff up off to the north by Mason City and to the southwest by Omaha. But as the morning wears on here, 5 o'clock in the morning, areas like Fort Dodge through Jefferson, uh, down through Creston and into Carroll and into the metro by 5 in the morning, picking up on snow. We head through the noon hour. A lot of this starts to pass east of 35. Uh, and then by Sunday evening, well, that's out of here. And by Monday, we could be talking about a decent amount of sunshine out there. So as far as how much snow you can expect, would not be surprised to see an inch or two in the metro. Eastern portions of the state, much better odds of upwards of three inches out of this. So I know we've seen plenty of snow so far this winter, but thankfully, this isn't going to be a hefty snowmaker. An inch to around three inches fairly widespread across central and eastern portions of the state. So still plan on a few flurries out there today. 25 degrees the high on the day. We got a little bit of a light breeze. Otherwise, tonight, those temperatures fading back to 10 degrees with a few clouds out there. Uh, but thankfully, not quite as cold. 26 in Johnston today, 25 for Pleasant Hill statewide. Colder air up off to the northeast. Algona at 17 as well, 19 for Waterloo. And that eight-day forecast, those temperatures are warming up back into the middle 30s by Sunday, and we're into the 40s next week. Looking dry, too, and warm. Prime snow-melting temperatures as our lows even only bottom out to freezing on Tuesday.